Howdy y'all, this is Yugi Openings here. I got a little, well, truth be told, I got a little bit of trouble. So I was just walking around a store, Target, let's be real, I was walking around Target and I saw these packs and thought, eh, I just kind of came here for one thing. Went to the store, I mean, they um went to the line, thought about it, got back out of line, grabbed, <laughs> grabbed everything of that pack they had and uh, decided to open it in front of you guys. So today, it's almost a box, but it's 15, that's right, 15 Dark Saviors. Whoo, whoo, that's a lot right there. All right, let's get into it. So I May or may not read the secrets. Uh, the supers, I'll probably just point out the names. Uh, the secrets, though, I'll probably put a sign of this pile here. So, no, this pile here, supers over here. Uh, if it's a secret we've already pulled, then I won't gonna um, read off what it does. But if it's new, then yeah, I'll read it. Why not? All right, first pack of 15. Eh. Eh. There we go, okay. So, we got Vampire Retainer, uh, Dark Greffer, Armageddon, Plague Spreader Zambo, and we got a Vampire's Desire for our Seeker. Alright, so it's a normal spell card, and what you do is you activate one of these effects. The first is to target one face-up monster you control, uh, which is cost. Send vampire, one vampire monster from your deck to the GY. I was going to stop doing that. Uh, with a different level from that monster. And if you do, the targeted monster becomes the level of that sent monster in the graveyard until the end of this turn. The second effect uh, is target one mon vampire monster in your graveyard. Send one monster you control to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon the targeted monster. You can only activate one vampire's desire per turn. So I don't... No vampires too much, although the second effect sounds kind of a bit better. Where so, for example, let's say I don't know you uh, you got you got this one on the field, and you got like a better one in the grave. Where you just want to get him in the grave, you can play Vampire's Desire, send him to grave, get rid, uh, bring out the big one, then use his effect in grave uh, to bring him back out and stuff. So okay. I mean, I, I guess technically the second one sounds a bit better than the first, although the first one is kind of like a foolish burial, so that's pretty good in that respect. So, alright, so secrets here, trash over there, supers over here. <laughs> second pack. <clears throat> alright, so we got ourselves... Vampire Crimson, Vampire Awakening, there we go, Vendora the Flying Fortress, another Plague Spreader, Zambo, ooh, okay, and then we got Mayhem for Hire, so that's our secret rare, it's a quick play for the Fur Hires, you target one monster for hire in your graveyard, special summon defense mode, position, you can activate one Mayhem for hire per turn. Yeah, that's that's a little gimmick uh, gimmick there with the fur hires, cause man, those puns are so great. They're for hire, eh? You know, cause cause the monsters for hire. Yeah, you guys get it. All right, so that's that's pretty good. All right, now for a third pack. Uh, so I gotta confess, right here. I know some of, some of these cards are probably gonna be a bit bent or damaged or something, cause. Just before I decided to, there we go. Just beside, before I decided to record this, I accidentally stepped on a couple of the packs. All right. Anyway, so don't worry about it. It's it's fine. Third pack. Okay. All right. So we got. Hey, this card's a one. We got drones. That'd be funny if we only saw one of this card today. Uh, drowning Mirror Force. Uh, all these cards are now drowning. I, I need to find out a way to get better with puns, as we all know. 
uh, Vampire Vamp, another Vampire Retainer, and our secret is Dinah Hero for Hire. Okay, so it's a level 6 Beast Warrior Earth, type, Earth Attribute. And what he does, is, well he's got 2500 attack and 1400 defense. What he does is, if this is special summoned, you can banish cards from your opponent's graveyard up to the number of for hire monsters you control with different names. You can only use this effect of Dinah Hero for Hire once per turn. Monsters your opponent control cannot target monsters for hire you control for attacks for, except this one. Um, I mean that's, it's okay, it's not really that good, I mean... I'll banish a couple of your cards, up to five cards from your grave, so it's not like it's the best, but I mean, hit drones, I guess, but you're not going to really see this guy too, too often. I mean, if you want to run him out one in a fur hire deck, I don't see any hurt in that. Okay, so we got two fur hires. Now for our fourth pack. <coughs> fourth of 15. Alright, so we got Vampire Red Baron, a Recon Scout for Hire, uh, Bravo Fighter for Hire. Hey, we got Ray. Cool. Sky Striker Ace Ray, can't have too many of those. And we got Raphael, uh, Champion for Hire, so all these fur hire cards, he's a light level 8 monster, 2800 attack, 2200 defense, he's a dragon. That's really good as a secret. Ooh, so shiny. Anyway, what he does is, if this is special summon, they're all if this is special summon, so I'll skip that part. You can excavate the top cards of your deck equal to the number of monsters for hire. Uh, you control different names, except for himself. And if, you, and if you do, add one of them to your hand and shuffle the rest back to your deck. And then if your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can discard one card for higher and negate the activation. And you can only use each effect of this guy once per turn. So it's got a hard once per turn, but I mean, free special. And if you got, um, I think it's like beat, I believe. And then you special this guy off beat, you should get a free card. Because screw it. Well, oh. you essentially would get a free card, and then it's got a free negation, so semi-free negation. It's got a discard cost for monster negation, so that's pretty nice. Uh, he's like their little boss monster until they get their link monster out. Alright, so on to pack number five. There. <coughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. So we got a Quick Booster, uh, the Monarch Stormforth, this card's also at one, a uh, Seal, Strategist for Hire, a Lore of Darkness, a nice looking super rare, and our secret is a Sky Striker Mecha Modules, the multi roll. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna have to paraphrase here. Basically, when this thing's face up, uh, you can target one other card you control. Uh, Send it to the graveyard, and then after that, your opponent can't activate anything in response to you activating a spell card. Also, after that, um, and that does work even if it leaves field, and you can't get, you only can get that effect once a turn. And then during the end phase, uh, if you've activated Sky Striker spell cards uh, during the end phase, if this thing was face up during activation, any of those, you can grab ones with different names from your graveyard, set them to your field, but they're banished when they leave field. So. And a pure Sky Striker, Sky Striker deck that's really good to uh, get back your advantage. Your resources. E. Okay. Pack 6. Oops. Guys, gotta remember my thing. E. Okay. So, we got... Vampire Familiar. Dark Graffer. Foolish Burial Goods, Vampire Vomp again, and then we got Vampire Fraulein, uh, Level 5 Dark Zambo, 600 attack, 2000 defense, I swear to god, that thing's low battery, 
Uh, when a monster declares an attack, you can special this card from your hand, defense position. You can only use that effect once per turn. Uh, once per battle, if your zombie monster battles an opponent's monster during that damage cal, quick effect, you can pay the life points in multiples of 100, max 3,000. Your battling monster gains that much attack and defense during that damage calculation only. At the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed any monsters by battle, you can special summon them from the graveyards to your field. So it even works with your own graveyard. Ho 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 ho. Alright, so that's more vampire cards. Pack 7, let's, let's go. All right, so we got Mystic Tomato, Vampire Familiar, Recon Scout for Hire again, another Drowning. Oh. <laughs> Yay, my first Afterburners I've ever pulled. Yes. Uh, basically, this one does is if you don't control any monsters, you may monster zone. You can target one face-up monster on the field, destroy it. Then if you have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can... Destroy one spell or trap card on the field. I know. It's like I play this deck or something. But haha, ha, I pulled Afterburners. Excited for that one. Alright. Pack eight. Probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, pack eight. Okay. Got, I gotta get better with that. Eh. Wow, I, just, I am too getting tired. I can't even do my eh anymore. Alright, so we got ourselves in this pack. Drowning Mirror Force. Uh, there we go. Fendora the Flying Fortress again. Uh, Vampiric Orcus. Another Vampire Awakening. Ooh, a Widow Anchor. Okay, Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. Um, think of it as a, one, uh, as a breakthrough skill. You can draw the monsters main monster zone. Uh, you can target one face-up effect monster on the field, negate that face-up monster's effects to the end of this turn. Then, if you have three or more spells in your grave, you can take control of it if you want. So, what's super fun is you have a couple of these opened up. Your opponent doesn't have too many monsters. You get three or more spells in your grave, and you're like, you know what? Widow Anchor, grab this. Widow Anchor, grab that. Widow Anchor, grab that. And uh, attack for a game. Done it before. Super great super fun. Alright, pack something. Nine. Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, nine. Pack nine. <clears throat> Alright, so this pack we got Donpa, the other one. Uh, Marksman for hire. Uh, Sky Striker Mecha Eagle Booster. A Tune Table of Contents. Shadow Vampire. Ho ho! Alright, I was talking about this guy earlier. So this is Beat Bladesman for Hire. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon a monster for hire from your hand except for himself. And then if a monster for hire is special summon to your field while you control this guy, uh, you can add a monster for hire from your deck to your hand except for himself, and you can only use each effect of this guy per turn. So <laughs> you need to run this th thing at three. Because you're normal, spec, Special effect search effect special summon that monster because that's that's what makes the plays and he's a warrior so you can actually use Rhoda Neato all right pack ten <clears throat> all right what did we get this time. Uh, first, we kind of started out slow, but now we're getting some good pulls. So we got Seal, Strategist for Hire, Another Lure of Darkness, Vampire Vomp, Foolish Burial Goods, and we got Jamming Waves. So Jamming Waves here is a lot like Afterburners, it's just the reverse. Uh, instead of getting a monster, targeting a monster, you target one set spell or trap on the field, destroy it, and then if you have more, three or more spells in your grave, Target a monster on the field. I, you don't target, sorry. Uh, you just destroy a monster on the field. So they 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 go hand in hand. So okay, cool. Uh, pack eleven. I know I'm going through this kind of fast, but you know, fifteen packs. It's late in the night. Gotta get up in the morning. You know how life is. 
Ooh, that, that one, uh, that one didn't want to be opened. Uh, let's see why. All right, so we got Bravo, Brava, Brava, uh, Fighter for Hire, Shadow Vampire, uh, Donpa, Marksman for Hire, Armageddon Knights, and then we got another Raphael, uh, Champion for Hire. Okay, maybe that's why I didn't want to be open. <laughs> This is going to be our first duplicate. Alright. Pack 12. If I can open it. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so we got a Curry Bandit. He's a bandit. Arg. Ooh, our first Kagari. Alright, nice. Uh, oh, fun card. She got an ulti in the OTS 8. Looks really nice. Uh, we also got, uh, Sky Striker Aerospace Area Zero, a uh, Roto, we were talking about this earlier too, you just add a normal warrior, and then, a normal warrior, sorry, you just add a level four lower warrior, and then anyway, our secret is the Magical Citadel of Indiaramont, it's a field spell, each time a spell card is activated, you place a spell counter on this when that card resolves, once per turn, if you activate a card effect by moving spell counter counters from the, your field, you can move that many spell counters from this card instead. Uh, if this card is destroyed, you destroy a spell counter in this card instead. So, you know, this is like its second reprint after like it's oh so long, it was pretty funny. It got first reprint as a super in one of the OTS packs and then a couple weeks later it got this very super shiny secret rare. Like, I mean that, like, that is some shininess right there. Uh, that's See if I can get that actual artwork in there without any glare. You guys can kind of see it there. Yeah. So, but that's that's the secret. It's like super shiny. All right. I don't know why those got there. All right. So three packs to go. <coughs> All right. So we got another Curry Bandit, a uh, Vampire Sorcerer, a Mirror Force, no drowning, a uh, Horn of the Phantom Beast, and we got another Vampire's Desire. So this is our second copy. There we go. Gosh, I can't, I can't think today. There we go. All right, so this is our second to last, number 14. Eh. Wait. Eh. There we go. All right, hey, this card's at too. It's Skippe Goat, a Skippe. Uh, we got a Sky. We also got a Sky Striker Mech Armory Hercules Base of another Vampire Retainer. I think that's our third one. Uh, Dark Greffer, and then we got another Fur Hire card called Training for Hire for all your training needs. Uh, so, it's a continuous trap. Uh, if a face-up monster monsters for hire you control is destroyed by a battle or opponent's card effect, you can target one of those monsters. Special summon one monster for hire from your deck whose level is lower than that target target's original level. You can only use this effective training for hire for all your training needs once per turn. Okay. So it's not bad. Ah, last pack. Da -na 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 -na. Ah. Eh. All right. Last pack we have. Ooh, starting off with Ray. Okay. And then we got a quick boosta, another vampire familiar, and I'm pretty sure I know what that last one is. Dark Graffer, and our secret is Dom Fier Vampire. Sheridan? Sheridan. Sheridan. Uh, this is a rank 6 XZ's monster. Dark attribute. 2600 attack, 1000 defense. It's a Zambo. You need two or more level 6 monsters, and he's so sophisticated. Ha 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 ha. If you would use monster monsters with a level that is owned by your opponent for the XZ summon of this card, treat it as a level 6. Uh, once per turn, you can detach a material from this card and then target one card your opponent controls, send it to the grave. 
Uh, once per turn, if a monster card is sent from your field to your opponent's graveyard by a card effect, or a monster is destroyed by a battle and sent to your opponent's graveyard, uh, you can attach one material from this card, special summon one of those monsters to your field in defense mode. Ha ha ha, I'm so sophisticated. Well, he's not so sophisticated anymore, he's down on the floor. Uh, Dark Graffer says so. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was the 15 packs there. Uh, it looks like, honestly, I think the best ones we opened up, secret rare wise, would actually probably be the Beat for Hire. There, there, the Beat for Hire, the Widow Anchor, and the Afterburners. So, I mean, these are pretty nice to pull. And then, of course, I think the best super we all know would probably be that scapegoat. That's fine by me. Alright, guys. That'll be it for the day. Take care, and that's a wrap.